day one of puzzling. I think I worked on this for two to three hours. I've done the border and a few other little pieces. This is gonna take a while. I don't even know if it's right side up right now because I usually don't look at the picture when I do the puzzle. I like to kind of just let the puzzle come together and I like to figure out what goes where. It's part of the fun for me. I know it's an antique map, but this could very well be upside down. I figured the blue would be the sky, but the blue could also be the water. I started the puzzle yesterday and here is the progress. I spent a lot of time doing the border and these little bits here. So this is my day one progress of puzzling. I'm about to get to it for day two. We are going to be having these cookies from Farm Boy. The lemon shortbread is really, really good. There's not a lot that comes in the pack though. I think there are only a dozen. So we're getting to the last ones already because we had quite a few the first day that we opened them. And then these um, sweet and spicy ginger cookies are so good. I love ginger and these are very gingery. I can definitely see us buying more of these as well as the shortbread. I think hubby likes the shortbread more and I like the ginger cookies more. After we eat the cookies, we're also going to be having a little bit of ice wine. This is the ice wine we're having and I thought this was what we bought when we went last time but we went to Pellera Estates last time so this must have been from a different time that we went to Niagara. We're both trying to remember but can't really recall. So maybe we've had this a lot longer. Here is my day two progress. It is coming along. I couldn't work on it that much yesterday because my neck was really hurting from overdoing it on day one, but I'm feeling a bit better today. So I'm hoping to work on it a little bit. I haven't had a chance because it's been a rather busy day, but maybe I'll work on it a little bit this evening. Hubby and I have been watching Shark Tank and one of the things that we saw was this product here called the Comfy. It's kind of like the Snuggie, but instead of being an open robe, it's this big hoodie and it looked really cozy and comfortable. So Hubby said he wanted one and I was like, well, I kind of want one too. So we bought two of them. We bought a um, dusty blue one and also the black one and we're gonna see which one we like better and try to decide among the two who's gonna have what. Originally we were both gonna get the blue but I thought let's try a different color and then we could just decide from there. So maybe I will take the black one and hubby will take the blue one since that was his original choice. Lulu's very interested in our comfies. It is spring already, so it's probably going to be too hot for these, but we'll certainly try them on and see what they look like. Oh, You're filming? Yeah. I'm cold. You want to see what it looks like? Are you ready? blanket you can wear. Oh, I can't wait to wear it. Pays for itself. It's so warm. I'm saving money on my heating bill. Who doesn't want to wear a blanket all the time? Everyone loves it. Kid friendly, pet friendly, wash as well. It's perfect. From LOL to OMG. The best <laughs> thing I've ever bought. Put up the hood and take a nap. Hide your snacks in the giant pocket. Let's go. So big. watching us. <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's 
cozy. It is cozy. We are falling asleep now. It's this big. <laughs> it's nice. I think I like the black one. <laughs> the hood can double as a pillow. <laughs> Comfortable. It's really hot. <laughs> I like it. I like to wear tank tops and shorts at home a lot, so sometimes it does get a little bit cooler, especially at night. So now I can wear my shorts and tank tops and just cuddle in this when I feel um, cold. And Lulu really wants a treat. <laughs> I mentioned ordering the grease filter for the microwave. They came in today. Look at the one we had. Oh. Here's the next installment of puzzling. I think we're on day four now. Day three was yesterday and I didn't really do much. I found a lot of pieces and laid them out as you can see, but I haven't really started assembling them that well. I'm gonna be making ramen tonight, but instead of making it in the soup base that comes with the ramen and instead of stir frying it in my own sauces, I'm going to be making ramen in Campbell's tomato soup. I have been seeing this on a couple of subreddits that I follow and for some reason it is very intriguing to me and I'm very curious as to what this will be like. In the tomato soup I am going to mix in one of the flavor packets from the ramen. I've got the two cans of tomato soup along with um, one pack of the instant noodle ramen powder in the pot and I'm going to bring it to a boil and then cook the noodles in it. Here's what dinner is looking like. It looks pretty good. Let's give it a try. It reminds me of um, that canned alphabet yeah. soup, alphagetti <laughs> or whatever it's called. I used to like that stuff. I haven't had that in probably 20 years. <laughs> it's yummy. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's good. It's slightly spicy from the ramen powder. The soup is like thick, like Campbell's tomato soup. We didn't add anything else to it this time around, but when I used to eat the Campbell's tomato soup, I would put like grated Parmesan on top, and that's really good too. Let's have one more bite. Mmm, good. I would make this again. It's yummy. Do you like it? Yeah. I'm losing track of the days, but this is the progress. I feel like it's going okay considering I haven't really been able to work on it much because it's been busy with work during the day and then it's too dark in the room at night. Realized that we keep the condo very dark in the evening and there isn't really a way to turn up the light in the bedroom. So I will be getting a lamp. My friend's actually going to give me a lamp that she picked up a while ago that she hasn't used at all so she doesn't need it anymore and rather than buying one I'm just gonna grab hers and hopefully that will mean that I can work on the puzzle a little more in the evenings. Here is the current state of the puzzle. I'm really happy with how it's coming along. It's such a pleasure to be able to work on this every day. I'm actually taking my time with it for once and not rushing through it and my body feels a whole lot better and 
I can have that little dose of excitement when it's time to work on it. It's been a very full day and I haven't had a chance to work on the puzzle today yet. I did spend lots of time on it yesterday, which was fun, and I thought I would have a sore neck today, but everything is fine, so I'm going to work on it right now. Here's what the puzzle looks like today. I didn't really work on it that much yesterday, and I'm trying to do the part at the top. It's a lot of sky, so it's a little bit challenging, but I plan to work on it a lot this weekend. Hubby and I are trying the Puffin cereal. This is the peanut butter flavor, and it tastes really good. I like it. It tastes like kind of like corn chips, but slightly sweet. It's got like a salty peanut butter flavor, very, very crunchy and delicious. So this is really good. I would get this again. One of you asked for a plant update in my vlogs and I'm going to try to show them more just bits and pieces here and there. I will do a full plant update for my main channel but here is a look at my plants. They're doing really well with the exception of maybe a couple that um, I'll talk about a little later in the full video. But the majority of them are thriving. I've been propagating a few and I'm going to need to propagate this one especially, the um, Neon Pothos, because it is getting quite massive and unruly. These are pretty much all of my plants with the exception of a few that are off screen. But um, oh my gosh, this brings me so much joy. I love looking at them from a distance, close up. Oh. It's just so relaxing and so satisfying. My Pylea finally has a baby. I've been waiting so long for this. It needs to be bigger before I can propagate it, but um, it's just so cute seeing it grow. And I think there's going to be another one that's going to come up in the next month or two. These are the two watermelon peperomia I have left, and they are growing! This one has one baby leaf, and I think I can see two others starting to come out, so that is super exciting. And this one, even though I planted in bad soil, you can see the mold on the soil, I don't want to um, repot it because the last time I repotted these, I lost most of them. So I think it was the bad soil, but this one is... Um, doing pretty well. So I'm gonna scoop the mold off and um, this one has like a little baby coming out as well. Yay! I really don't feel like going out for my walk today. So I'm gonna try to get as many steps as possible in the condo. I've just been puttering around this morning. It's not that I don't have energy, it's more so that it's raining and gloomy and I just feel like staying indoors as much as possible. So I've been doing a lot of um, just like little housework things that I do throughout the year that's not the deep cleaning challenge. I'm just putting some stuff away. I'm doing the laundry. I'm gonna freeze the overripe bananas that are sitting on the counter and a bunch of other stuff. This week, hubby and I are going to do some healthy eating because um, I personally am feeling incredibly full just from all of the takeout and things that we've been munching on lately. I really enjoyed the takeout and the snacks and such, but I just feel like I need to lighten it up. I get this way from time to time. So I think this coming week, just Monday to Friday, we're gonna try to have salad for dinner, like a hearty salad. Ever since having that Caesar salad from Ruth's Chris, I've been kind of craving Caesar salad, so I bought some romaine lettuce yesterday, which reminds me of truffle. I also bought some of the Renee's Mighty Caesar dressing, which is my favorite Caesar dressing. So last night we had a really delicious dinner of um, Caesar salad, the turkey and bacon sandwich for me. Hubby had brisket and bacon and then we had some mac and cheese, so very, very yummy. During the week though, we're gonna try to have a hearty salad for dinner every night. So this will either be a Caesar salad or um, if we're sick of the Caesar dressing and romaine lettuce, I'll switch it up with a spinach salad with like a vinegary 
or a mustardy based dressing that I'll just make myself. So that sounds like it will be really good. I'm going to amp it up with um, maybe I'll do some hard boiled eggs. I just thought of that. And um, I also plan to make some sous vide chicken tonight just so we have some protein in our salads. That's actually sounding really good. I'm very much... Um, wanting fruits and vegetables right now the romaine lettuce yesterday in the caesar salad was so good it was like i needed this um and then for our breakfast slash lunch hubby's probably going to continue to have overnight oats even though he's quite sick of it right now but um we still have a lot of oats and such and um, it's relatively healthy and for me i'm not too sure yet originally i was gonna have overnight oats as well but i've been kind of into the smoothies lately so maybe i'll try to have a smoothie for my first meal i know i'm gonna get hungry because the smoothie won't be enough so maybe i will make overnight oats or have something that is a bit more filling because if I just have the smoothie and even if it's a hearty salad I'm gonna be so 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 hungry so we'll see how it goes I mean I'll vlog and keep you up to date with that I'm a little bit apprehensive because I don't like being hungry I like to eat until I'm full I already bought our chips for April I really wanted to try the ruffles I think they're called double crunch or something like that they have ketchup and jalapeno cheddar I asked hubby which one he would prefer and he said ketchup too so i bought two bags of the ketchup they're relatively small bags they're 180 grams each so i think what i'll do is i'll eat one serving from my bag so about 50 grams and then hubby can have the rest so he can have his 180 plus my 130 i'll have my 50 grams plus i'm gonna buy crispy minis for myself for um the rest of my April chips. This comfy has been awesome. I do overheat quite easily, so I'll put it on if I'm feeling a bit chilly, but I usually take it off after about like half an hour to an hour or so. Underneath, I am wearing um, one of the sets that I got from Shein, so one of the long sleeve sets. I find those are quite warm, for me at least. I will probably overheat quite fast, but it is a chilly your day and we haven't turned on the heat so I think I'll just cocoon in this for a while. I'm hearing birds outside and it seems to be brightening up so maybe I will go for a short walk. Hubby and I also plan to go to Starbucks today. We also have to go to Shoppers Drug Mart to pick up some more bubbly. We've been drinking so much bubbly lately. Those are the cans of flavored sparkling water just find them really thirst quenching and refreshing that's not going to be enough steps i've been pacing around the condo but it takes quite a long time to get even a thousand steps just by pacing around so maybe if it does brighten up a little bit more and maybe if the rain stops i'll um i'll just go out for a short walk around the block type of thing today is also the day i'm going to be doing my full moon planning ceremony that's been working out really really well i feel like it's been very much like in alignment with how my body wants to be how my mind likes to think so i've been really enjoying planning at two week intervals and it's not really planning like what am i going to do these next two weeks although there's a little bit of that it's more so just like setting an intention for how i want to feel throughout the next two weeks and what i want to focus on and trying to foresee what obstacles might come up that will throw me off and I also pull a tarot card. I do plan to do a full video on my moon planning practice. For now, I do have a blog post which I will link down below. The video isn't going to be for a while. The earliest would be May because I plan to move all of my tidying videos to my main channel in the month of April. So I'll be posting every day, but they're mainly videos if you followed along with the tidying challenge. They're videos you would have seen the majority of before, but I'm going to record a little intro for each and provide some updates where I can because it's been two years since I've done the tidying challenge. I thought it would be interesting to circle back and um, do a little update on top of reposting the videos. I've made them unlisted on this channel, but you can still access them via the playlist. I think I might have enough footage for this vlog, so I'm going to sign off for the time being. Thank you all so much for watching this vlog. I will see you very very soon in another one. I hope you're doing great. I can't believe it's almost 
April. Time seems to be flying by really quickly. I hope you're having a healthy and safe start to spring, and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.